Right, so this happens very rarely, but Apple themselves have leaked the new Mac Mini encodes. We have reference to a Mac Mini with five ports, which obviously the current model does not have. And while this lines up with what German's told us about the next Mac Mini, because he said it could feature five USB-C ports, with two on the front like the Mac Studio, and so this basically confirms what German said is true, and also points towards the redesign rumours being accurate as well. Let's actually talk about the redesign. Now you're probably thinking, why is this man so excited about a new aluminium box? Well, the Mac Mini has basically looked the same since 2010. That's when the unibody design was introduced. And so for 14 long years, we've had the same exact boring shell. Now, yes, I know this does not make a huge difference at the end of the day because it's not like you're going to be staring at the box 24-7. But since the introduction of M-Series chipsets, we have known there is a lot of wasted space inside the current Mac Mini. And it could quite easily be smaller because of the efficiency of Apple Silicon. And so, oh boy, am I glad that's finally going to be the case. So yes, according to Mark Gurman, the upcoming M4 and M4 Pro Mac Mini is going to have an all-new design. The aim is to apparently make this a size of an Apple TV, which is crazy small compared to the current Mac Mini, though it might be slightly taller than the current model. It will continue to use aluminium as before, and according to engineers working on this, they describe it as an iPad Pro in a box. Wowzers. You know what else would be wowzers? Subscribing to the channel, of course. I would greatly appreciate it and would bring you the latest about Apple right to your subscription box, so please consider it. It would be appreciated. Join the Saran Bike gang now. Anyways, here's a comparison picture of the current and possible new design for the Mac Mini by Tech God on Twitter, and you can see how drastic this redesign is. It's so much smaller and cuter, and Tech God also predicts that we could see elements of the Mac Studio design, such as the grill on the back with this new Mac Mini, which I think is very likely. I would also like to see a space black or space gray option. That would be very nice. Apple briefly offered this with the 2018 Mac Mini, but to be honest, colors on a massive deal with the Mac Mini, and silver always looks great, anyways. Now, in terms of I.O., there's going to be a HDMI 2.1 port and three Thunderbolt ports on the back, which is surprisingly an upgrade over the current M2 model that features two Thunderbolt ports, since the M4 does feature more Thunderbolt controllers. So breaking news guys, for once Apple's making the body smaller and giving us more ports. It's unheard of. Also as a content creator, I would love to see an SD card read on this. So make that happen, Timothy, pretty please. There will also be a magnetic and braided power cable from the iMac, which is a nice addition. And similar to the iMac, the external power brick's gonna have built-in Ethernet. Don't expect any upgrades in terms of external display support though, because M4 is gonna continue supporting two displays, and M4 Pro is gonna continue supporting three displays, just like the M2 counterparts. Interestingly, the base M4 is gonna begin shipping from suppliers this month ahead of its release later in the year, whilst the higher-end model might not be ready until October, so supply might be constrained with that initially, which I guess makes sense because it will be one of the first Macs getting the M4 Pro chipset. Now, what kind of upgrades can we expect with these new chipsets? Well, for once, we don't have to speculate because remember the 2024 iPad Pros already feature the base M4 chipset. It came in two different SKUs. There was a bin version with a nine core CPU that had three performance cores and six efficiency cores. And the full fat version has a 10 core CPU with full performance cores and six efficiency cores, which is the version I expect the Mac Mini to get because in the past that's never gotten the bin versions of Apple's base chipsets. The chip itself is based upon a second generation 3 nanometer process that's much more efficient to produce, and the chip also features a new display engine, dynamic caching that helps significantly increase performance for demanding pro apps and games, and most importantly includes a new neural engine that fuels accelerated AI workloads and that last point will be the main upgrade Apple is going to flex in the marketing. Since remember, the big thing at Apple right now is Apple intelligence and much like they plan to do with the iPhone 16. I expect Apple to push the idea that these Macs will be powered by the awesomeness of Apple intelligence and how AI is going to change your life and M4 is going to play a massive role in that. With the M4 Pro, the rumored configurations are this, an 11 or 12 core CPU that has five or six performance cores and six efficiency cores, 16 or 20 GPU cores, and a 16 core neural engine with a choice of 18 gigs or 36 gigs of unified memory. By the way, I forgot to mention this, but the iPad Pro that Apple claims has eight gigs of RAM actually uses two six gig modules with Apple artificially limiting the RAM on the iPads. I'm guessing because 12 gigs is kind of overkill for iPad OS, but it does mean that the M4 Mac Mini could, of course, get a RAM upgrade to 12 gigs, which not only benefits us, but it's going to come in handy for Apple intelligence since that does need more memory. Pricing-wise, German says it's actually going to be surprisingly cheaper for Apple to make the new design 
though actually thinking about it, I guess giving us a much smaller design that requires less material is obviously going to be cheap and so as a result I don't see any sort of price increase for the M4 models. The base model will stay at $599 and the M4 Pro should stay at $1299 which is still awesome value. However don't expect any storage upgrades for that price. The base model especially is likely going to retain 256 gigs of storage. Which I know is going to disappoint many, there's going to be those who protest about this outside Apple HQ, but I'm going to be honest guys, you can get away with external storage, especially with a desktop Mac, so it's not the biggest issue in the world, especially for the price of this. That's everything about these new Mac minis, but let's now talk about the other Macs we could possibly see alongside the new Mac minis at a possible October event. The first machine we should see is a base M4 MacBook Pro. This will probably just be a spec refresh, and that's fine because the machine is solid as is, though the addition of 12 gigs of RAM as standard would definitely be a big upgrade because right now the biggest issue is the fact it only comes with 8 gigs of RAM as standards. That's too little in 2024, let's be honest guys. So that's the main thing I'm looking forward to. Now the next release Gamma mentions is the 24 inch iMac that's also getting M4 by the end of this year, and that's surprising considering Apple took nearly three years to update it from M1 to M3, and so going to M4 so soon has caught me off guard a little, I can't lie. I've always argued it makes sense to not upgrade the iMac very often because it's a low volume product and the user base for the machine, schools and families, likely won't care about having a slightly faster chipset. But hey, if it's going to be a simple chip swap, then I guess I'll take it and the upgrades that come with the M4. Though I'm really hoping that we do see some new colours this time because I was a bit disappointed that Apple did not give us any new shades. They just lazily reuse the colours from the M1. So yes, Timothy, give us some new snazzy colours. Now with the higher end MacBook Pros, apparently these could release sometime during the end of 2024 to early 2025. Though I'm going to go against German, I'm pretty sure these will come out this year because the MacBook Pros are a big seller for them and it doesn't make too much sense to release the base M4 version, but not the higher end models as well. And so ideally all the MacBook Pro configurations should release together like they did last year. I'm not expecting anything fancy though with this refresh, not even a new color like last time, it's just going to be a chipset refresh. Now there is a new MacBook Air, Mac Pro and a Mac Studio in the works, but those won't release till next year. So here are your 2024 M4 Macs. Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. And thank you for watching.